What's going on everyone? It's time for another horror film review. Today we're going to do another mockumentary found footage film. The iconic, well, the one that everyone talks about, Hell House LLC. This is um, part of my countdown to Halloween where all through October, every day I'm going to post at least one review of either horror, sci-fi, fantasy, or thriller. Most of them have been thrillers recently, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, till Halloween, and most of them are going to be obscure stuff, so you can find something new to check out. Good, bad, all of it. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, let's get to it. Hell House LLC was released October 16th, 2015. It was directed by Stephen Cognetti, who uh, will go on to do Hell House LLC 2, The Abandoned Hotel, Hell House LLC 3, Lake of Fire, and Hell House LLC Origins, The Carmichael Story. But he also did films like 825 Forest Road, Carav Caravan Nights, and Thomas Jefferson Lives. So this is a mockumentary found footage of a group of friends who uh, filmed themselves making uh, a haunted house attraction for October in this old abandoned restaurant hotel. Um, and... Uh, where something it ran mysteriously closed down. They're not sure why, but they got it for a cheap price, so they start building a haunt in it. And as they go, they find these uh, clown dummies in the basement where uh, it things start happening and, like, spooky things start going on and, while they're doing it, but they kind of brush it all off. And then on opening night, a um, big massacre happens, and no one knows why. So an investigative... Um, documentary crew go in and try to uncover the truth of it where they uncover the darkest uh, secret that um, of what actually happened. Overall, this film was very good. This film sucked me right into it. It was uh, So this isn't really a jump scare type of horror film. This is more creepy atmosphere, which is the ones I absolutely love. And uh, it has that. Like, there is... It's not really, like... Um, yeah, it's just, like, the way things are placed and, like, it'll be random, like, the clown dummies would be somewhere, look like they're creeping on them, but you can't tell for sure for the most part. And it just gets really unnerving and goes really crazy, especially near the end. The last, like, 30 minutes of this film is ridiculous. It has, like, three separate endings. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Overall, I thought I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really well put together. Now, obviously, shaky cam and stuff like that is not going to be for everyone, but uh, this is definitely one of the way better found footage mockumentary films out there. Like, I reviewed a couple of them already in the last couple of weeks, and they're pretty terrible. <laughs> this one um, definitely has it here. Like, the acting in this is actually pretty good. I think most of it's uh, improv or ad libbed or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, or if they are reading from a script, they're pretty good actors. So, yeah, there's that. The cinematography is not too bad for some of it. And overall, I thought the whole film was really good. And it, now there's some um, makeup style effects and like what actually is happening. Kind of looks a little cheesy in it, but it's not too bad. It's only for like five minutes of the film though. So, it doesn't take away from, like, all the creepy atmosphere in that. So, um, yeah. And then, yeah, the only other thing that I found annoying was it's the biggest trope in found footage movies. It's that the weird um, camera cutting out with, like, particles on the screen and stuff to hide edits and stuff like that. There's a lot of that in this, and it's pretty cliche. And obviously... If you're familiar with filmmaking or even editing YouTube videos and stuff like that, you know that artifacts don't do that and stuff. So it kind of just takes uh, the realism out of it. But still, it's a fun movie. And overall, I really enjoyed it. Now, some people are going to complain that this is a really fake movie. But overall, it's still better than 99% of what's out there. So I really enjoyed this film. There's a couple of weird things that I didn't like, but other than that, it's still fun. So I'm going to give Hell House LLC a four out of five. It was a lot of fun and it's pretty good. The story is actually pretty amusing too. So 
yeah, definitely check it out. It is streaming on a couple sites that I know of, like Screenbox, Tubi, where you can watch them for free there, or if you have Shutter, it's on there. But I'll link uh, either the Tubi or Screenbox one down below, so you can check it out there and watch it for free. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram that's linked down below. That's where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. I usually put the film title in there, some fun factor history thing in there as well. Also, my letterbox is down below, Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating. I have thoughts of the films. And my Twitter is down below, reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms. Stay loop this channel. Like this video, share it to more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. If you have any films or film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And also, if, let me know if you want me to do the other Hell House movies as well. And if you have any recommendations for the rest of this month, comment them down below too. Make sure you subscribe. Hope you find something weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together. And also, so you hear my opinions on popular films and come out classic films and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because we're gonna, there's a new Shutter horror film that came out today called um, Daddy's Head, which looks amusing. So I'm going to check that out. So make sure you tune in for that one. And uh, yeah, watch out for all those Halloween haunts that are actually more sinister than we ever imagined. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.